it shows the campaign of Kamala Harris getting a donation from Donald Trump. In a surprising turn of events, it was revealed that former President Donald Trump had once donated to Kamala Harris's campaign during her run for California Attorney General. This revelation adds an intriguing layer to the dynamic between the two figures who have often been at odds. Her campaign has garnered widespread enthusiasm, attracting contributions from both grassroots supporters and influential donors. Let's take a look at this donation from the former president. Trump's donations to Kamala Harris. The KHOU 11 Verify team found the Trump Organization actually made two donations to the Kamala Harris campaign in 2011 and 2013, totaling $6,000. It was recently unearthed that former President Donald Trump had donated to Kamala Harris's campaign during her run for California Attorney General. The donations, which happened in 2011 and 2013, totaled $6,000. At the time, Trump was a well-known real estate mogul and television personality, far from the political figure he later became. Harris, on the other hand, was climbing the political ladder, eventually becoming the state's attorney general before her tenure as a U.S. senator and vice president. The revelation of these donations came as a shock to many, given the stark political differences between the two figures. Trump has often criticized Harris and her policies, particularly during the 2020 presidential campaign. The donations were first reported by the Sacramento Bee, which obtained public records detailing contributions made by Trump and his daughter Ivanka to Harris's campaign. The discovery has sparked a flurry of discussions and debates across the political spectrum. Analysts have speculated on the motives behind Trump's donations. Some suggest that these contributions were a strategic move by Trump, who was known for donating to both Democratic and Republican candidates as a way to maintain influence and foster goodwill across the political aisle. His history of political donations includes contributions to prominent Democrats like Hillary Clinton, further supporting the idea that his donations to Harris were part of a broader strategy rather than an endorsement of her political views. The timing of the donations also raises questions. In 2011, Harris was a rising star in California politics, having just been elected as the state's first female and first black attorney general. By 2013, she had established herself as a formidable figure in law enforcement and criminal justice reform. Trump's donations during this period could be seen as an attempt to align himself with influential figures in key states anticipating future business or political advantages. Kamala Harris's team has addressed the donations by stating she's always been transparent about her campaign finances and the contributions for Trump were a small part of her overall fundraising efforts. In an interview with the LA Times, Harris said, quote, I've always been committed to running transparent campaigns and ensuring that my actions reflect my values. The donations in question were handled in accordance with all legal requirements. Kamala Harris's response. Kamala Harris's response to the revelation that Donald Trump donated to her campaign was swift and decisive. As soon as news broke, Harris made it clear she was committed to maintaining the integrity and transparency of her finances. She announced she'd be donating the money she received from Trump to a charitable cause. The decision was both a strategic move and a reflection of her values. The charities chosen by Harris included organizations focused on civil rights, social justice, and support for underserved communities, underscoring her commitment to these causes. Her decision to redirect the funds was met with praise from many of her supporters. Political analysts noted that this move reinforced her image as a principled leader who is not swayed by political expediency. By donating the money to charity, Harris effectively neutralized potential criticism and demonstrated her dedication to ethical standards. It also highlighted her ability to handle unexpected challenges with grace and integrity. But not everyone viewed Harris's decision in a positive light. Some critics argued her response was an attempt to sidestep scrutiny and avoid addressing the broader issues of political donations from controversial figures. Surge in donations to Harris's campaign. After President Biden dropped out of the race, the activist group Win With Black Women literally almost broke Zoom, organizing a call with 44,000 people to make sure Kamala Harris wins the White House this November. Since Kamala Harris announced her candidacy for president, there's been a notable surge in donations to the campaign. 
This increase in financial support is a testament to her growing influence and the enthusiasm she's generated among a diverse group of supporters. According to her campaign's financial reports, she's raised millions of dollars, a significant portion of which has come from small individual donations, highlighting her grassroots appeal. One of the key factors contributing to this surge in donations is Harris's ability to connect with a wide range of voters. Her campaign has emphasized issues such as health care, criminal justice reform, and economic equality, resonating with many Americans who are seeking progressive change. In interviews, Harris has often highlighted her commitment to fighting for the underrepresented and working towards a more just society. Quote, I am running for president because I believe in the promise of America and the potential of every American, Harris said in a speech. Our campaign is powered by people who share this vision and are willing to support it with their time and resources. White Guys for Harris Fundraiser 190,000 people joined a white men for Harris Zoom call Monday night. All featured top contenders to be Harris's VP pick, including Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. Celebrities like actors Jeff Bridges and Mark Hamill also joined the call. The White Guys for Harris fundraiser stands out as a unique and impactful event in her campaign. Organized by a group of influential male supporters, the fundraiser aimed to broaden her appeal and demonstrate her capacity to unite diverse groups behind her candidacy. The event, held in L.A., got significant media attention and was attended by prominent figures from various sectors. The concept of the fundraisers was to challenge the conventional demographics typically associated with Harris's support base. The organizers looked to highlight her inclusive message and her ability to resonate with a wide array of voters. One of the key figures behind the event, Silicon Valley entrepreneur and philanthropist Reid Hoffman explained in an interview, quote, This fundraiser is about showing that Kamala's vision for America is one that many of us believe in, regardless of our background. It's about coming together to support a leader who can bring about meaningful change. The event was a resounding success, raising substantial funds for Harris's campaign. Other Prominent Fundraising Efforts Harris raised over $200 million in the first week, with 66% of those donations coming from first-time donors. Kamala Harris's presidential campaign has been bolstered by several prominent fundraising efforts, beyond the headlining-grabbing White Guys for Harris event. These efforts have been instrumental in ensuring Harris remains a competitive candidate in a tough race. One significant fundraiser was organized by actress and activist Kerry Washington, who's been a vocal supporter of Harris. Her event brought together Hollywood elites and political insiders, highlighting Harris's appeal among influential cultural and political figures. Harris's campaign has successfully leveraged grassroots fundraising as well. Small dollar donations have poured in from supporters across the country, reflecting widespread enthusiasm for her candidacy. List of Biggest Donors one of the most notable donors to her campaign is Lorene Powell Jobs, widow of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs and a well-known philanthropist. Her contributions reflect her commitment to progressive causes and her belief in Harris's leadership. Another significant contributor is Reed Hastings, founder and CEO of Netflix. He's long been a supporter of Democratic candidates and causes, and his donations to Harris's campaign underscore his alignment with her policy positions. Harris has received considerable support from George Soros, the billionaire financer and philanthropist known for his contributions to progressive and liberal causes worldwide. Mark Benioff, CEO of Salesforce, is another big donor who has significantly contributed to Harris's campaign. She's also benefited from the support of influential figures in the entertainment industry. Notable donors include Hollywood heavyweights like Steven Spielberg and Jeffrey Katzenberg. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think President Trump regrets donating to Kamala Harris's campaign in years past? Let us know in the comments section below.